Hello students, you are on to Mass Secrets Revealed by Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall discuss integration and its techniques. Stay blessed. Let f of x be a real valued function. Now suppose we want to know uh, the rate of change of f of x with respect to x. And let's the rate of change, the rate of change of uh, the function, the function f of x uh, denoted by df of x all over the x be equal to a function g of x. Okay, putting the integral value on both sides. We have integral df of x all over dx will be integral g of x. So by the time we cross multiply, we have uh, integral df of x is equal to the integral g of x dx. Okay? Yes. Now, the integral sign here, we cancel d here. So we're going to have what? We're going to have f of x is equal to the integral g of x dx. So that means that the function f of x is the same thing as uh, finding the integral value of g of x with respect to differential coefficient dx. Now, there are techniques. There are techniques. This is what we call integration. This is what we call, that is, when we integrate g of x dx, we are invariably going to get f of x. Now, let's observe the Techniques of uh, integration. Uh, don't let us forget that integration is the opposite of uh, differentiation. So integration is anti-differentiation. Let's look at some uh, techniques of the standard form. We start with the standard forms. We start with the standard forms. Standard forms. Standard uh, forms. Now, we mean uh, forms that you know, they are by by way of research have you know given us certain uh, degree of relevance and unique uh, forms. Okay, we start with sin hex. If you integrate sin hex the hex sin x the hex, you know, you observe that when we get f of x, it was as a result of the integral value of j s the x. So the rate of change of that sign, you know, of the function given must be there. So sine x, the integral of sine x dx will be what? Will be minus cos x plus c. That is the standard. That means all over the world, anytime you integrate sine x dx, the result should be what? Minus cos x plus c. The c here is an arbitrary constant that must be added to any indefinite integral. When we get there, we explain better. But for now, indefinite, indefinite integrals are those ones without limits. There is no value here as the upper limit, there is no value here as the lower limit. So, the integral of cos x, the x, will be sine x plus c. You know, let me let me bring us back the memory lane here. Uh, you know, when we, whenever, whenever we differentiate uh, sine x, sine x, you know, in our previous video, we said that sine x is cos x. But when you differentiate uh, cos x, you get uh, minus sine x. So you now looking at the two, you see that these are opposites to each other. The, the integration sign here gives us the result that is opposite to the result we obtain while differentiating. So that's how we say that uh, integration is uh, the opposite of differentiation. So integration is anti-differentiation. Okay? Now let's quickly have others. The integral of you know exponential x dx will be what? Will be exponential x plus c. So anytime you integrate exponential x dx is the result is exponential x plus c. Now the integral of xn dx you know this is the general term of uh, the integral value, just be x 
you know, add one to that, you know, a, add one to the index, now divide it by the result you obtain here. N plus one plus C. So that is that also that about, about that. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Let's look at uh, other integrals. Let's look at other integrals. You know. Now the integral of uh, dx all over x. This is what lean you can call it. The log x plus c, or you write lean x plus c. So here you might, if you like, you can put uh, the natural uh, uh, logarithm there. That is an uh, e. Okay. Now the integration of uh, the x all over a squared plus uh, x squared. If you have this form, it's going to be what? 1 all over a arc tan x over a plus c. We shall use examples to illustrate this. Just take note. That in the integral of the x all over the square root of a squared minus uh, x squared. If you integrate that, you're going to have uh, arc sine x all over a plus c. So we should take note of this uh, for now. These are standard forms and some other few ones that we need to know for now. So that when we go into finding uh, the integral values of certain functions or, or problems, we will not find them difficult to do. Okay, let's quickly go to examples. Let's go to examples quickly. Let's go to examples. Examples. Now, the first question in our example is um, let's look at um, this question. Integrate. Integrate. Integrate uh, the following. Integrate the following. 1. x raised power 8. 2. The cube root of x. 3. 1 all over x is power 6. 4. Um, 1 all over the square root of uh, 9 minus x squared. That is uh, 9 minus x squared. Then um, 5. 1 all over 25 plus x squared. And the sixth one, sine squared half of x. Half x. Now let's quickly look at this. Now, to integrate this, to integrate this, the first one, it means x is power 8 dx. That is, you are putting integral value on uh, the function. So that is what? You know, remember in our previous uh, standard forms, we said that x is power n is x is power n plus 1 all over n plus 1. So that means what? Our n here is 8. So we have x is power 8 plus 1 all over what you have there, 8 plus 1. Plus c. You have to add c. It's an arbitrary constant because the integral we are talking about does not have limits both uh, up and down. Okay? So this one got x is power 9 all over 9 plus c. That is that about that. Okay? Now, the next one the next one. Let's let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. The next one says um, um, the cube root of uh, that is x the x. Okay, so it's as the same thing as what x is power one over three the x. That is the meaning. You, you know, if you change this one to sort form, you have x is power one over three. So which is what x is power one over three plus 1, all over 1 over 3, plus 1 plus C. And that gives us what? X is power 4, all over 3, all over 4, all over 3, plus C. So by the time you divide this by this, you have what? 3, all over 4, X is power 4, all over 3, plus C. That's when you divide uh, the whole of this by 4, all over 3. Okay? So that is that about uh, that as well. Now the next one. The next one. The next one. Okay. The next one. Uh, the next one is the same thing as uh, uh, let's let's rewrite the next one. 
That is what? That is going to be integral of x to the power minus 6 dx. You know this 1 over x to the power 6. So by the time it goes up, it becomes negative. So that will be what? x to the power minus 6 plus 1 all over minus 6 plus 1 plus c. Okay? So that will be what? x to the power minus 5 all over minus 5 plus c. So you, you can write, if, if you leave it like this, fine, but it will be better as a mathematician. This minus will come up minus x to the power minus 5 all over 5 plus c. So, and if you want to re re rewrite this x to the power minus 5, there are, there's a way, you know, there's a way to, uh, to do that. Let's write it here. Let's write it here. In case the answer is not uh, exactly one, uh, that. So, you know, x to the power minus 5 is 1 over x to the power 5. So that is minus 1 over x to the power 5 all over 5 plus c. If you change this from uh, index form to, you know, it should be like that. So as that you divide uh, 1 over x to the power 5 divided by 5, that would be what you now have minus 1 all over 5 x to the power 5 plus c. You check it. Check it out. So that is 1 over 5 divided by 5 over 1. That would be, so it will now be times 1 over 5. So so that is that about uh, that. Now let's quickly look at uh, the last three uh, examples. The last three examples. The last three examples. Now looking at this, looking at this question, this number four. You look at this question number four resembles what we earlier had uh, in one of our standard forms that says that uh, dx all over the integral of dx all over. Uh, uh, a squared minus x squared, you know, that is, uh, we, we have had something like this. It is in one of the standard form given. So that implies that this particular question looks like this. Because by the time you multiply 1 by dx, it will give, give you dx, that is all over, now 9 minus x squared. So now, you can see that we have the square root of different of two squares there. Different of two squares there. 9 as a square over the square root of 3, 3 squared. So this is this, this particular form is equivalent to this. So this is equivalent to this. So we can now rewrite this as um, we can now rewrite this as this now means what? It now means the integral of dx all over the square root of uh, three squared minus x squared. And remember, so in this case now we compare this with what I've just claimed with this that I've just claimed, you know. You see that uh, if you compare this, this, this is a number, you know, it's an integer, you know. 3 would be a here, a would be 3, and x is x already, x squared. So, so you see that a is 3, because uh, 3 squared means a squared, because they are equivalent. So in that case, and in our uh, standard form, this is what, sin, arc sign x all over a plus c. That is the result, that's the standard result. With this. So in this case now, the answer will just be, without wasting our time, x sign, you know, our x is x, all over our a, like I've told you, a is 3 plus c. That's all. That's all. Because our a is 3. So from the standard form that says x sign x over a, that is x all over a is what? 3. Not 9. A is 3. So now, that is that about uh, that. Let's look at the, ne the next one. Number five, let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one. The next one says that, uh, that is um, integral of, the next one simply means this, 25 plus uh, x squared. So looking at this, you see that this one also resembles the standard form dx all over uh, a squared plus x squared. Yes, it's there in the standard form I've given you before. So in this case now, a square, if a square is 25, that means a is 5. So at least you can write this on now. That implies that this one can be the x all over 5 squared. Let me see this is equivalent to this. 5 squared plus x squared. Okay, I hope you understand. You remember that. Okay. Yeah. So, and in this, if you compare this, our, our standard form gave us what? 1 all over a arc sine at arc time rather x over a plus c that is the result of this standard form that's the result of that standard form which we earlier obtained so in this case now like i said now we have rewritten this as 
this 25 plus s square as 5 square plus s square. So we can change, we can now use this. Use what, what is our a? Our a from this now, comparing this with this now, our a is 5. Our a is 5. So our x is still x. You can see. In this case, we are talking about addition of squares. But it doesn't have square roots. It doesn't have square root. It, it, is, it was a sign form that has square root. The uh, uh, terms form does not have square root. So we cannot have what that means. 1 all over a. Since our a is 5, that's 1 all over 5. Act and act and x. That is x all over 5 plus c. So that is it. That is that about uh, that. So let's let's uh, round off here. So in the next video, we shall continue with uh, other illustrative uh, example. Do well to click on the notification bell so that uh, each time I upload a new video, you'll be daily notified. God bless you.